Welcome to our benchmarking guide for Tomb Raider. The new Tomb Raider, not the old Tomb Raider, although we could do a benchmarking guide for the old Tomb Raider. It would involve like how many, uh, how many triangles per second can it draw? And the answer would be two. Um, so basically what we're doing here is showing you guys the run through that we use here at Linus Tech Tips to figure out which games perform best, or which games, which cards perform best in this game and uh, showing you guys exactly how we're running the game. So that way you can try it at home, you can find out how your system stacks up against ours and it will be hosted as usual by Slick uh, jabbering into his blue snowball microphone at his desk. So we start off the benchmark just by running across these two bridges right here. Uh, just check out the tress effects on her hair, I guess. There's nothing else really going on at this part in the game. Right when we come around the corner up here, uh, through the arches, it'll go... She'll start walking, and then this leads you right into a cinematic. The cinematics in this game are done uh, actively within the engine. They're not pre-rendered, so there's no need to worry. I take this guy out right away and then shoot the other guy twice. Then dip below the boxes and wait for him to adjust. Then when he stands up next, just take him out. Charge up to the double doors, and then right when you get there, start spamming E. After a little bit of E spam, she'll get through the door. Once you break in, there's another short cinematic. Just wait for that to be over, and then she'll lead into a wooden barricade. Spam F against the wooden barricade, and it'll break right through. Right when you get outside, just head to the right and jump over the gap. Follow the trail, and then she'll whip out her bow for you. Hide behind the wooden cart that's right here. And then this guy will shine a flashlight down here, and just wait for him to point it away, and then take him out. As he falls, run up to this stand, jump up onto the stand, and pull yourself up, and then look out into the houses that are on fire. The benchmark should end once you're up here within about three to five seconds. Shouldn't be that huge of a variance due to like cinematics and fairly canned events, and then you're good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed that, the uh, deep, sensual, seductive sound of Slick's voice, and uh, I certainly did. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.